Shalom family. So I wanted to share something special with you. This We can dive into this much deeper at another time. But I wanted to just share this with you to bless you. With how everything God does is for a reason and with decent planning. So I want to just show you something about the cherubim. There are different groups of angels. Cherubim and seraphim are higher and more powerful than archangels and angels. They are living creatures all these things and I'll delve into them in more depth and detail in videos coming in the next few weeks as well. So there's two scriptures I want to contra with each other here and show you. The first one is Ezekiel 28 verse 14 to 16. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth. In the midst of the fiery stones, you were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of of the fiery stones. Now this scripture denotes the fall of Lucifer. It's one of the scriptures that talks about that fall. God is speaking to an actual world leader, but at the same time telling us what happened with this cherub who fell. And this cherub is Lucifer. Now you go to Genesis 3 verse 24 and you have better understanding. So he drove out the man and he placed cherubim, plural, at the east of the Garden of Eden, and a flaming sword, which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. So man has been thrown out of the garden. He wants no one else to have access and come back. Angelic beings can operate on a spiritual plane and I believe that garden has been shifted into said plane to be removed from our view and access. So to keep angels out, if you had to encamp a normal angel or archangel at the gate and Lucifer had to try and come back, he's a cherubim, he's a more powerful angel, right? God places cherubim, plural, with flaming sword. At that entrance. There's no way the devil's getting back. Interesting, isn't it? I think it's just perfection in the way God plans things. And if you immediately go, no, Michael can definitely defeat him. He's an archangel, he'll defeat the devil. Revelation will clearly tell you that there was war in heaven and they fought against the dragon and his forces. He doesn't overcome him by his power or his angel's power at all. He overcomes him with two things. By the word of their testimony, our testimony has power. And by the blood of the lamb, by those things, he overcomes him. And when he faces Lucifer and they contend over the body of Moses, he does not overcome him or beat him in a fair fight. Not going to happen. He says, the Lord rebuke you. Interesting, isn't it? There was a sheriff. It came and helped mankind fall in the garden. And when everyone was chucked out of the garden, the Lord placed cherubim to guard the entrance with a flaming sword. The Hebrew actually saying whirling, which gives you an idea of like helicopter blades of fire guarding the way back to the garden. I think it's beautiful the way my God thinks everything through down to the T. No one out thinks, out plans, or out preps God. He's perfect. Shalom.